Barrett fragrances have been dropping some new releases and we got our hands on some of them today Let's open this package see what we got open that up and we got four new releases in here let's check these out first up fields of valhalla love the the label on this one this is a really cool looking label got the dark almost hunter green in the background black you got darker shades of green back there as well and then you have the yellow border and the yellow text right up top really good contrast on that this is their variation this is a hybrid actually of creed aventus and fields of valhalla this is their variation or a hybrid of creed aventus and zherjov noxos nice atomizer on this as always i really like the way that this works there is a almost like a violet like uh loudness with noxos when you first spray it and then it kind of comes down and calms down becomes a bit more spicier the honey comes up the vanilla creaminess comes up and some of the cinnamon comes up as well and it sort of tones it down uh what i like that the aventus in this one does which is his uh his fragrance valhalla it kind of stops it in its tracks from being real loud and really high pitched sort of stops it in its tracks and you immediately get that sort of dry down vibe along with like a smoky dusty pineapple the pineapple in valhalla isn't necessarily juicy it's more so like a dry like a dry dusty kind of a zesty pineapple that comes in and sort of stops that really high pitch vibe right in his tracks and you just get like a good back and forth exchange of that dry down and Aventus opening. I like how Aventus doesn't really take over this fragrance and it really can't. Noxos is, is a very dominating fragrance. I like how Aventus sort of assists and facilitates Noxos in this way. Really has a nice fresh powdery, uh, airy and musky component that sort of softens Noxos but at the same time still pushes Noxos to the forefront. Assist, it is assisting in Noxos and how it's coming off, how it's coming to the nose, how it's projecting and how it's presented. But at the same time, it's still in that background while Noxos is front and center. Love that. That's coming together real well. Let this sit for a couple weeks and we'll come back to this one and just see how this one is developed. Next up. I believe this is pronounced, is it Breeze or Briz Africaine? Not too sure. You on this label here, you have like a really dark grayish brown and black. You have almost like a, almost a, a, a legible image here almost in the background, but it's still real abstract. And you have that signature sort of yellow border right up top. If I'm not mistaken, this should be his variation Barreto's Bar Afri. Try this out here. Yep, that's what it is. And his version is way more ambitious. Bar Afri is like a soft, powdery, sweet, almost like has like this pretty ambergris, no, not, not like Neroli, but like a pretty ambergris orange flower. Just a pretty soft, sweet floral fuzzy powdery vibe that Bard Afridic has. This has that same sort of vibe, but this one's just way more, it just has more muscle to it. It's doing the same thing Bard Afridic would do, but this one just comes off like a bit more, a bit more in your face, a bit more strength and muscle to it, a lot more boldness to this variation. I truly enjoyed it. I like the way that's gonna come together. Oh man, it's just a nice amount of sweetness, soft, like white musk kind of a vibe. Something slightly salty reminds you a little bit of uh, like an ambergris present or something like that. Got some powderiness to it as well. This is really nice and love that presentation on there. Really straight to the point presentation, but it's very eye catching the way the label stand out. Speaking of an eye catching label, Cabo Coast. This is absolutely gorgeous. Not sure if you can catch all the details on that. It's like a really light sky blue and like almost like a darker royal blue. And you have like this really nice design, fine detail in the background. And you have a uh, border of white on this one. Cabo Coast. This should be his variation 
of Virgin Island water. The smell in this out of the atomizer. This is bomb. The Virgin Island water variations that I've smelled so far don't have nearly as much muscle as this. One thing I notice about his fragrances, they tend to just come with a bit more strength, a bit more elbow grease. I'm not sure what he's putting in these, but man, this just seems like the strength on these is nuclear. My gosh, yo, that is supremely fresh. Supremely fresh. This is just, oh my gosh. It's fresh, tangy. It has this bite to it. The lime that I'm catching in this one, if I'm not mistaken, the lime in this one bites you. Like it catches you really nice. I don't know if there's like a coconut in this one or if he, I'm not sure, but it's like this one is fresh, adventurous, vibrant, bold, just a blast of a fragrance right out the gate. Oh man, it's so loud. I love the strength on these because I know I'm going to put this on and I'm going to be good. One, two, probably two on the wrist and I should be just fine. This has a really good amount of strength and I can tell that that bitey lim uh, lime, that citrus, that's going to probably be there for the duration. So far, I'm impressed by everything right now. Let's check out this last fragrance. And lastly, Safari Leather. This kind of has a little similar vibe to the, uh, to the Scarlet Gamble bottle, but this one's a bit darker. Scarlet Gamble is a bit lighter on that red on the inside, like a burgundy, almost Cleveland Cavalier color vibe going on. Let's try this out here. Man. It comes out dark and then immediately shoots up and become high pitched. This one is man. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, one thing I will say is you won't need a lot of this. Checking out the uh, the packing slip. Safari leather is Memo's African leather. This is my first time smelling the variation of this fragrance. Ooh, man, that is strong uh this is probably my least favorite out of all everything that i've smelled from him so far i can see this one still working but you don't need a lot of this at all what i would actually recommend because this one is a strong almost industrial leather there's no, not a lot of sweetness happening there's not a lot of things softening it up and creating like uh you know like a different facet a little bit of movement this one comes out of the gate just loud. Uh, and this can be very off-putting in a large amount. But what I could imagine, if I was to come here, one spray, and I don't like doing a lot of rubbing or anything like that, but with something this loud, I would probably go one, two, kind of spread it on both wrists, and then do a little dab here, and then rock with that. I don't want to do too much of this. It smells like a really, in it's a really high pitched suede leather kind of a vibe and, a, and an industrial woody vibe. It's really strong. Uh, don't need a lot. It's really, it's loud. It's high pitched. It's going to catch somebody's nose quite easily. And you don't want to be found with too much of this on. Has a little bit of a peppery vibe to it. That could possibly be a bergamot or something like that in the open. Let me try this one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble and say that there is a, it's a little bit of like a sweet, creamy vibe when you first spray it. That's gonna dissipate quickly and become peppery. And then that woodiness is gonna come in, but it's really, it's not smoky, it's just sharp. Really sharp, almost like a white wood sort of a vibe. And you're gonna get a really sharp sort of leather or suede vibe. And it's gonna just, it's gonna be a lot. So far, I'm impressed by these. And I'm loving the juice color on a couple of these as well, especially this one right here. This one is really nice. Nice, deep golden yellow, as well as this one, as well as this one right here. Not too bad. Barrett Fragrances has been doing an excellent job at kicking out some new inspirations, uh, working on his blending and, and making sure everything smells refined 
and approached in a in a and everything is approached properly and once again those fragrances are Cabo Coast Safari Leather Riz Africaine Fields of Fall Hollow as always I'm gonna drop the link to the description where you guys can check out these fragrances on his website browse around and see if anything suits your fancy he's been upgrading the collection as of late I want to say he has a nice handful of fragrances available on his website great strength the price point on these ain't bad at all check out the website browse around for a second and that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace